Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the floating ball challenge and I'm going to be breaking down all the secrets to the floating ball challenge. It's going to be dope because this is a 14 pound ball, which is the easiest way to master it. Are you ready, Preston? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's start. So the first thing you guys want to learn on how to hit the ball is I see most people they hit it with their palm and they hit it with like their knuckles. So the secret part, most important part to control the ball and everything is to hit it on this one area of your hand. Just this one area. That's the secret to it. If you can land the ball on this part of your hand the entire time, it is super simple. So give me the ball. So even with the 14 pound ball, I don't have to go super hard and I can just hit it super lightly. But if I'm hitting it on that part, it doesn't hurt and you can control it a lot easier than hitting it like this, which is super heavy, not gonna lie, because I have no idea how physics work. I didn't take that class, but any other way of doing it is gonna be super hard. That's why no one can ever do it the way I do it because there is a way to do it, which is on this one finger. All right, Ray, so I want you to try it the same way as that. Just toss it up lightly yeah. and just hit it and try to land it on this okay. part of your hand. <laughs> That's a good start. That's a yeah, good start. Yeah. Try to do it, try. See, you got it down. <laughs> so in barely, in barely what? Three minutes, Ray has already figured out how to do the floating ball. And from there, you guys need to practice more and more on how to control it and move it and spin it and all of this difficult stuff until you move on to like one hand, two hand, but that's just more of the advanced stuff. So try it some more, Ray, and see if you can figure it out. Just right. see if you can hold it for more than five seconds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right after it. So, so in that situation, so, what you have yeah. to do is you'd have to catch the ball under your feet. So oh. if the ball is like running away from you, you gotta like run under it and catch it. So if you can try to pull it back sure, towards sure, you. Sure. It yeah. bounce it on your face. That's like okay. a secret technique I figure it out. So the ball is coming back, you can just bounce it on your face and try to keep the ball centered. But if the ball is rolling away, you want to catch it under your yeah, feet. Yeah. So try it. Alright. <laughs> oh. You gotta hit it, you gotta hit so it faster. faster? Okay. It doesn't have to be hard, but it just has to be fast. Oh. So Ray can barely get it down for three seconds. But which is a good start because Ray doesn't work out at all. Yeah, yeah not, not boxing. <laughs> not boxing, exactly. But yeah. I don't think you work out at all though. I, I do. Show I the camera your guns. Show, show me your guns. Come on. This well, is like, my camera. No, like, I, oh, I haven't my worked God. out in a while. I haven't but... worked out in a while. Yeah. Now it comes out. Now it comes out. All right, all right. So we're going to hit you with that floating ball. Oh. Okay, and then start, doing, start going. Let's go. Dude, no way! That was probably five seconds. Yeah, I think so. So that is how you do the floating ball in a nutshell, which is super easy in my opinion. I don't know why it should be hard. Once you figure it out, it should just be a piece of cake. Only problem is that if you do it long enough, your skin will start to come off. That's the only downfall about doing the floating ball challenge is your skin will come off. That's just part of the territory. But I recommend doing it with a 14 pound ball and yeah, this is all there is to this video. I can't, that's how simple the flow was. So next time guys, like and subscribe, Infamous Wu out.